The universe is endless to the point that it can seem impossible to understand or organize. Stars are similar. These huge celestial bodies hanging in space are many and diverse. Somehow, despite the astronomical odds stacked against her, one woman, Annie J. Cannon, was able to determine the optimal strategy for classifying the stars. A star is a luminous body that produces heat and light through the process of nuclear fusion. For a long time, scientists have analyzed the light emitted from a star in an effort to learn what elements composed it. But sometimes, part of the rainbow doesn't show up. These dark lines mean that the star is not emitting these wavelengths of light. The reason is the presence of specific elements in their atmosphere. These elements absorb certain wavelengths of electromagnetic radiation because those photons happen to be the right energy to excite one of the element's electrons from an integer level to another. In some ways, the emission spectrum is like the star's unique fingerprint. A star's chemical composition changes the color we perceive it as. Prior to Annie, another woman astronomer, Williamina Fleming, developed a classification for stars based on how strong the hydrogen absorption spectrum lines were. A stars had the strongest hydrogen lines, and O or P stars had the weakest hydrogen lines. But Annie caught something she didn't. Cannon noticed that the temperature of the star also affected a star's spectra. If it's too hot, hydrogen gets ionized and can't absorb light the same way. If it's too cold, there isn't anything to excite the electrons at all. So, taking these factors into account, Cannon reordered the system based off of temperature. O stars were the hottest, M stars were the coldest. The hottest stars had blue colors, and the coldest stars were colored red. Any jump canon didn't just organize stars. She revealed that the universe has a structure written by light, and she saw it before anyone else. After her work became the standard of the field and became known as the Harvard Spectral Classification, her name became a second thought. She never got the recognition that she deserved. One day, like how we alphabetize the universe by its truth, we shall write the right names next to the important discoveries of science.